Once that's done, this file that you've just changed should be sweet to open in Cinema 4D. Okay, so we go to Cinema 4D, open up Cinema 4D. Okay, welcome back to Cinema 4D. What we need to do now is go to File and um, Open. File, Open. It's already here. So find that file that you want to open. So my one was Nuketown Intro Blah. I'm going to open that. Scale is 10. If you have this here, centimeters, just keep it as centimeters. It should be sweet. Click OK. Right. Um, now what you need to do is just check that. Um, there we go. All these dots here. Some of you might be like, what? what's the dots mean? Is it? Does it mean it's going to slide? Is it even right? Let me tell you this. I don't know. Not until it's all finished. Okay. So what we want to do is double click down here. Like that. Open this up. Double click on that again. And then we're going to go to texture. We'll just take off untick specular. And then we're going to go to texture. And then we're going to go load image and find the um, cinematic that you were working on or want to work on. And here it is right here for me, main intro nuke town. I'm going to open that. Just go no. Sweet. So it should be there. Just go X and then click on this up here, the bright circle thing. Hold it. And then just select on background. That should bring that there. And what you need to do is bring this, click and drag this material onto background. There we go. There's the background that we want to work with. Now I'm going to drag the timeline. or move the timeline thing. To a spot where I can see where I'm going to put my intro. So about, I'm going to make about. There. Oh, oh, it's a bit slow at the moment. Should be, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna put my uh, um, text here. So once that's done, we can go to MoGraph, Mo Text, and then change the text. Oops, I'm gonna change it to. Um, something very appropriate what the frick what is going on okay I'm gonna change it to this that word okay I know it's not how you spell it but that's okay it's the way I spell it it's the way we spell it round here Okay, I'm changing. I'm just going to change some of the settings, and you guys don't have to follow these settings. You can do your own um, text and stuff. But I just want to make this intro fully simple. And, um, yep, that should be okay. Bring that in closer a little bit. Yep, sweet. Yep, okay. Um, and then I'm just, what we need to do now is just, if you want to drag it across like this, and bring it forward, move it back, bring it forward, move it up and down or side to side. Um, click up here if you want to rotate it to make it look a lot, you know, straighter. I'm not sure if this looks straight, but oh, bring it down. I reckon it should be all right. Maybe push this back a bit, like that. Maybe. Yeah, that should be all right. You guys just do it later once you get the fix sorted. Yep, all good. And then what we're gonna do now is. Give it a bit of color, so double click down here, double click this material, and I'm just gonna make mine funny brownish one. Don't know why brown. 
light brown there we go go okay just to give it a bit of and then what we're going to do is drag that color onto your text <clears throat> worst color ever but i don't know it's all good okay and then once that's done let's give it some light so we can actually see the text you need to give it some light so what you need to do is click on this bright circle thing just click it once don't don't hold it just click okay that should bring out a light bring this light back I'm just gonna bring it over here about here over right here over here about here no right here I'm gonna bring it back a bit now I want to bring in another light just for um just so it's not so dark so I'm gonna click again that brings in two lights here so I'm going to change the light around so it's um, like that. Um, see that? Okay, now we, I'm going to move this here and then move it up it and move it over here. No, move it over there. About here. Uh, give it a bit of shadow. Maybe move it back some more. No. I don't know. That should look alright. You guys can do whatever you want. I'm just going to press on this, click on this render thing, the white one. Just see what it looks like. That should look alright, eh? Not too bad. Okay, so let's sort of that out. The text, the light. What we need to do now is go to render up here. Click on render go down to render settings general is all good go to output and change output um, change the frame frame range from current frame to all frames that should be sweet make sure the frame rate's 30 sweet go to save make sure you save it in the folder you can remember where to open blah 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 um, Save it in here. I'm gonna save it in here. So, um, nuke town intro. Oh, shit, caps are on. Oh, blah. Yeah. Nuke town intro, blah. Save it in that folder or any folder. Change the format to. Change the format to. Um, quick time movie. Um, select alpha channel multi pass sweet uh, an anti aliasing al 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 change this top one from geometry to best change the filter from still image to animation go to options options ok click on effect select ambient occlusion click effect again select global illumination um, in GI mode select um, IR camera and animation go to irradiance cache and select this top one from medium to low and record density to, from medium to low and that should be okay everything should be all good so once you've finished that exit that and then you don't really need this background so we can delete the background and just render it this one here the orange one click on that and that should render so it will be back when it renders and uh, finish it off all right see you soon okay all right so that's finished we're back now sorry all right that's finished uh rendering that so we can close this we can close this as well if you want to save changes to okay actually no i'm just going to minimize it 
Um, then we're going to open up After Effects again. Open up After Effects. Sweet. Okay, so go to File, Import File, and then go look for the intro that you saved, which my one was in this folder. Where is it? Here we go. Newtown Intro Blah. So open that folder, uh, open up that file. Fuck knows what this means, just go OK. Alright. Um, actually, we also need to import um, the cinematic that we used, which my mom was in. Where is it? Main intro nuke town, there it is. Okay, so open up your cinematic as well. Okay, so you're gonna hold and drag the cinematic down here. And you're also going to click and drag your intro, uh, your text, tracking text, and put it on top of your cinematic. Okay, there we go. There it is, right there in the background. Okay, I'm just going to preview this to see how it looks. See if there's any shakes, any movement, any sliding. Yeah, so here we go. Looks good. Looks very good. Yep, okay. So I'm just going to pause that. Okay, once you've sorted that out, and once you've done all your color corrections, um, once you've done your... Um, see how the words here, you can still see it all? Well, here's what's going to happen. I'm not going to teach you how to get rid of that in this tutorial, because I'm too cool. But... It's, this tutorial is just for fixing that slide, okay? That's all it is. Alright, no sliding. It's all good. I'm gonna, um, so yeah, once you've done the masking, which is cutting out all of that, all these letters from the building, once you've done the color correction, and all your other editing stuff, you can go to composition. Um, go to composition settings, I think. No, yes, no. Maybe it needs to be 30 frames. Um, still all good. Okay, alright, let's go back to here. Click on composition, add to render queue, your settings. Okay, that looks good. Lossless. Okay, change format to. Where are we? Let's quit. There we go. Quick time moving. Um, looks good. Okay. And then save it. I'm going to save it on desktop. Okay, and that's. I'm going to call this Nuke Town Intro. Blah. Save and render. And we'll be back shortly. Alright, so that's rendered. That has finished rendering. Close this and minimize this. And... Yeah. I'm going to upload it so you can have a look at the video, which should be straight after this tutorial. Um, uh, the next tutorial... I guess I can teach you guys how to mask it. <laughs> oh, I like better actually. Alright, so I'll teach you guys how to mask this so you don't see the words because they just look stupid. Um, there's a whole lot of shit you can do color correction, um, camera shake, um, lens flare. Um, shadows, lighting, heaps of crap. Um, but I'm not going to do that for this tutorial. But yeah, that's that's how you fix it, guys. Trust me. All of you guys having this problem, follow the steps, each step, um, thoroughly.
make sure you do it properly okay make sure it's all 30 frame frames frames per second um, make sure you change the code uh, for that um, file after you track it in Boju okay and once you do all that you guys once you've got this fixed okay once it's all fixed then you will be sweet to edit your text to edit your shadows your lighting and um, the masking like this thing and whatever you want okay so all right um thanks for watching guys please like this and share it around share the knowledge because that's all, what it's all about and um yeah hope this helps eh? and if it doesn't leave leave a comment down below and um yeah um just ask me some questions and i'll try and get back to you sweet okay sweet catches later man guys dudes girls peace